All right, we have breaking news coming in uh, from neighboring Bangladesh. Uh, political tensions continue to escalate in Bangladesh viewers. Now, uh, the government uh, the, led by Muhammad Yunus has now cracked down on Awami League student wing, the Chhatro League, banning it under the anti-terror law. And this comes as the government struggles to maintain control amid growing unrest and resistance from Sheikh Hasina's party. The ban signaling, of course, the hardening stance of the ruling government, the interim government. Remember, viewers, there have been massive protests in Dhaka by the part, by, by the uh, and the by, by the uh, students uh, league. And uh, this time around, there have been at least five demands put out by them. One of them, of course, being the. Uh, removal of the president uh, Shahabuddin and they were of course uh, they, they, they they besieged the presidential palace yesterday and now uh, one of the demands was to ban this uh, Awami League uh, students union and that's what uh, at least the uh, union's government could do the least it's uh, cracking down on uh, the student wing now after uh, the ouster of uh, Sheikh Hasina from uh, Bangladesh so UNIS government has banned Hasina uh, Sheikh Hasina party backed uh, Chhatra League. That's the update we are getting right now. And remember, this is happening uh, under anti terror law. So, that of course, there are many uh, accusations, allegations, charges against uh, uh, the, the uh, Chhatra League. And uh, that's the latest update uh, we are getting in from Bangladesh. Remember, viewers, uh, even uh, after Muhammad Yunus was vowed to bring back stability in the country, uh, we, there, there, there is no stability in Dhaka, in, 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 in Bangladesh. The protests continue. Uh, and now we see that the interim government is banning the student wing of, Chath, the, of Awami League under the Anti-Terrorism Act. And this was, remembered demanded by the student body, uh, the anti-discrimination uh, student movement, that in fact uh, had uh, you know was one of was the one of the protesters against sheikh hasina and the student body over the past 15 years under the awami league government was involved in various activities they say that disrupted uh, public safety And now we shift our focus to the United States viewers uh, as the presidential elections draw near. Tensions between the Republicans and the Democrats are only heating up. And in a recent rally, former President Donald Trump accused the UK's ruling Labour Party of attempting to interfere in the presidential election process. Now, this, of course, after a now deleted LinkedIn post from a Labour Party member that suggested sending workers to key battleground states. Here's a report. As the presidential elections approach closer, in the latest series of exchanges between the Republicans and Democrats, Donald Trump leveled accusations of interference against UK's ruling Labour Party. In a now deleted LinkedIn post by a Labour Party member that called for 100 workers to be flown to battleground states, Alongside election strategists from the party advising Kamala Harris on mobilizing center-left campaigns, Trump sees that as a blatant foreign interference bid. All fired up, Trump's legal team was swift to file a complaint with the US Federal Election Commission. While the illegality of the Labour Party volunteers assisting the Harris campaign remains to be vetted, Exemptions in U.S. law allow certain foreign nationals from participating in elections.